morning. <coughs> Beautiful weather yet again, hey? Yeah, it's gonna be a toasty one today. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Fair skinned individual. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. How's that you treating you? Really good. Yeah. She's been awesome. The other car is coming along. It's coming along, slowly but surely. Yeah. yeah. Just need more time. Need more time to work on it. Yeah, that's my problem. No time. No time. Time yeah. is our most valuable commodity. Yeah. Poker hands? Yep. Five bucks. Yeah. five bucks, five bucks. Five bucks per hand? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, you can have as many. You just have to carry around a sheet per hand. <laughs> five oh, hands? Five? Can I do five oh, hands? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just put your name and then... Um... Okay. Not that I'm cheering for myself, Brian, but you know... Yeah. <laughs> well, I draw one per sheet. Yep. Two. Oh. Ten of diamonds. Seven of spades. Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, make it a good one. Crazy, they're not even in the deck. I gave them an old set of BFs that I had, yeah. and they're like, there, we don't want to go too fast on them because there's some rot in the side walls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's just smoking them off, and you can just smell that dirty old rubber on them. Mm hmm. That's pretty funny. You do any upgrades to your air ride or anything? It's still. Still same as last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah, it's working good. I haven't had to do any work with it or nothing, so. Yeah. I'm impressed with your magazine. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> You're crushing it. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Do you deliver like we send them out all over, or what? Yeah, uh, over we've gone as far as like the states and stuff. Yeah, all over the states, really? Japan, Australia. <laughs> I just got an order from New Zealand last night. 
really? for some, yeah. So, yeah, worldwide. Sweet. Yeah, that's really cool. Are people putting them in, like, like selling them in their business and stuff too, or not really? Um, just like individually. There's some shops locally that have a small stock of them, yeah. and they'll either hand them out or sell them or whatever. But um, yeah, for the most part, online and at car shows and stuff. Three inch single into the turbo. Simple, straightforward, and it sounds good with that nice straight pipe on the side. Yeah, no doubt, eh? <laughs> It probably doesn't rumble too much because you haven't canned it or anything. No, it idles like a pussy cat and, and honestly like going down the highway. And good on fuel for like Oh yeah, it's pretty good on fuel. I mean like say with the overdrive it's it's not working yeah. hard. And uh, and the exhaust, like you can carry on a conversation in the truck ripping down the highway, it's not a problem at all. Like it's when you obviously when you open it up it's fucking loud. It sounds like a NASCAR when you get up beside it but yeah 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 you're just regular <laughs> driving it's how big of a turbo is it uh 78 75 okay from the smaller one next time and then a lot of no i i will no because my plan is to cam this thing and get it get it juiced up a little bit and then and then the turbo will school up a little bit quicker too so I mean, the only thing I, I would maybe do, would consider doing is going to a little bit smaller AR. So one, it's a 1.25 AR, and they also had a 0.96. The 0.96 would spool up a little bit faster, but honestly, for 90% of the driving I'm doing, it works perfectly, because cruising around town, you're not in boost, you're not spooling up the turbo, it's easy to control, and when you want power, you get on it, and once it spools up, man, it's, you got all the power you want. Yeah. So it's kind of, I think it really kind of depends on what the you leg is kind of fun too. Honestly. Oh yeah, where are you like, oh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh boy. <laughs> but usually like on the street, if I'm pulling up on a Mustang or a Corvette or something, I try to make sure I'm on that side. Yeah. So they they only see this side of the truck. Right. Like the other day, I was going down Highway Two, and there was a guy in a like an early 2000s Mustang GT, lowered, big tires, blacked out windows. And as I got up beside him, his driver's window was open like this far, and I could see he had gauges up the pillar, so I'm like, oh, he's got something done. Yeah. So I downshifted him out of overdrive and give it a little bit. Of course, the exhaust is pointing right at him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slow down, like, hey, like, you want to you wanna come play? He slowed down and got in behind a semi-truck in the, in the slow lane and he would, <laughs> like, would not engage. And I'm like, I'm like, well, this is bullshit. Yeah. You raced you guys, though? <coughs> yeah, they just want to get rid no, of No, I haven't found anybody who like, no. so far wanted to... Yeah. Well, you'll have to race someone today. Yeah, oh yeah, at some point, I think Ethan and I are going to go play a little bit. I got a set of drag radios sitting in the garage to put yeah, them on. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably go do a little bit of playing at least. I don't know, I haven't ever driven it with the drag radios on. They're brand new. Oh yeah, that'd be So I got about three grand new now. So we'll see. But I like I raced my brother in his 59. We raced from 100 to 200, and I was so far ahead of him by 200, I couldn't see him in the mirror. He was like, bye. <laughs> And he was coming up with excuses on the line. Well, yeah, naturally. He's got excuses for everything. He's, a, he's naturally aspirated. Yeah, yeah he's 400 cubed, naturally aspirated. But roller cam and yeah. aluminum heads and all. He's got, he's got some dollars into it. And he finds his like, $250 junkyard engine. Really good. It's amazing. Face drive to 100. Oh, this is a big white truck.